This, that was my drawing for the uh, voltaic cell between uh, zinc and copper. Here's Tro's. Okay, eh. it's okay. I think you got a little bit of help. All right. And he used it to light a light bulb. Oh, wow. So amazing. Uh, what uh, Another thing we want to learn about the galvanic and voltaic cells is how to write all of this information, everything involved in this galvanic cell or voltaic cell, a little bit conveniently. Okay? Because you, know, you could draw this out every time you want to talk about an electrochemical cell, draw the beakers, the light bulb, the wires, the salt bridge, all that fun stuff. Or what we can do is we can draw something called a cell notation to describe all of the different components of a cell. All right, so what we do is we first write out the anode, whatever that is. I'm gonna write this up here. So we draw the write out the anode, and then we draw a line, and then we uh, the ions for the oxidation reaction. And that's everything we need for our oxidation half cell. And then we draw a double line to everybody we're done talking about our oxidation half cell. And then we draw or write out our ions for the reduction half cell. Draw a line and a cathode. Yep, exactly. And, and all this is is a little bit of a convenient way to write out everything you need if you want to make the same battery. Okay, so what would we do? What would we write for this voltaic cell? What's my anode? Zinc was my anode, the electrode on my oxidation reaction. So I just write zinc solid. Then I draw a line. What are the ions involved in my half reaction? So just look at your oxidation half reaction and it's just zinc plus two. So we don't, we wouldn't technically need the nitrate. That's not imperative to this one. Since nitrate would be a spectator on, we just don't need it. You could. But then we draw a double line. Done talking about the uh, oxidation half cell. We're going to start talking about my reduction half cell. So what are the ions I need for that? Copper. Copper plus two. Oop. Almost forgot my phase. Then a line, because that's the only ions in there. And then copper salt, because that is my cathode. All right, so that's how we do uh, cell notation. So we got one more. Uh, this voltaic cell. This um, voltaic cell. Uh, is going to utilize a inert platinum electrode because if you look at this reduction reaction, so we got iron being oxidized by permanganate. We might even have uh, balanced this uh, redox reaction the other day. Okay, permanganate's reducing the iron, gaining five electrons, producing Mm plus two. Okay, so if you look at this half uh, reaction for reduction and think about, okay, I gotta make an electrode out of this. An electrode, you need something solid, something metallic to conduct electrons. I got an ion, I got some H plus ions, I got some another ion, I got water. I can't make anything out of electrode from there. So the electrode doesn't actually have to come from the half reactions. You can use other materials to um, conduct the electrons to or from what's being oxidized or what's being reduced. All right. um, in this case, they're using platinum because platinum's, hey, it's metal, it's solid, it conducts electricity. Uh, at least two or three things that you're required for an electrode is that it's conductive, 
solid, most electrodes are solid, but there are some liquid electrodes, anyways. Um, but for a normal battery, solid, conducts electricity, and won't react with the uh, half reaction. Okay? Sometimes you can get away with a lot cheaper material, sometimes you can't. Okay, anyways, let's write out the cell notation for this example. Because I can see everyone had so much fun writing out the cell notation previously. All right, so what is my, well, where do I start? What do I write first? Uh, FE, the anode. Yeah. Then what do I write? Solid. Solid. Draw a line. Draw a line. M on 4 that's on the reduction side. First, I need Fe2+. plus. Just the uh, electrons, or ions, excuse me, on the oxidation half reaction. Two lines. I'm done talking about my oxidation half reaction. All right, now I need all of the ions on my reduction half reaction. So permanganate, MnO4. Well, I need all of the ions. You don't draw lines? Nope. What, are there other ions? Oh, um, H plus. H plus, so I need to write all of them. So then I separate them by commas. Oh. I know, we're learning. That's what we're doing here. You wouldn't use any? Uh, no, you don't need uh, coefficients. Um, MN plus two? Part of the redox or the reduction half reaction. Any electrolytes, any ions in the half reaction. I need to write them down. But I'm not done. I need to draw a line. And what's my cathode? Platinum. Platinum's my cathode. Not part of the half reaction, but it's still there, it's still my cathode. 